Hello everyone. In the case of the Hyper-V, the network connectivity is maintained by virtual switch. Virtual switch is a bridging network that provides the connectivity from virtual machine to the another virtual machine to the host operating system where Hyper-V is installed as well as the outside network. In case of Hyper-V, there are three different types of virtual switches which can be created. External, internal and private. So if we'll talk about the external virtual switch. In the case of external virtual switch, the guest virtual machine can connect to other guest virtual machines as well as the host operating system and the outside network. So if you are installing Hyper-V on physical server in your on-prem environment, in that case you require an external virtual switch. However, using the internal virtual switch, guest operating system can communicate with each other as well as the host operating system. And as the name suggests, private virtual switch just provides the connectivity between the different virtual machines and it helps in creating the isolated environment. However, if you are installing Hyper-V on an Azure virtual machine, the virtualization as well as the security controls are already being managed in Azure on that virtual machine. And that is the reason when you create an external virtual switch, it doesn't provide the internet connectivity from the guest operating system. In this video, I'll show how using the internal virtual switch with the NAT can provide you an internet connectivity on the guest operating system itself. So let's check this in lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now and I have already created a Hyper-V VM01. It is a Windows Server 2022 where I have enabled the nested virtualization which is Hyper-V and then created a guest operating system which is Windows 2022 itself. I have already created a video on enabling the Hyper-V on Windows 2022 server. So I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this video. So let's log into this server now. I'm into Windows Server now and let's close this. And by default, the server manager opens. And in the server manager, if I'll go to the tools, there is an option of Hyper-V manager. So in the Hyper-V manager, you can see there is one virtual machine which is running with the name Web Server 01. It's a Windows 2022 server. And if you'll go to the virtual switch manager, there you can see there is one external switch which is created for the external network. And the same external switch is assigned to the virtual machine itself. So if we'll go to the settings of the virtual machine and in the network adapter, you can see the external switch is assigned. So that means this virtual machine is using the external bridging network. And if this would be the physical server on which this virtual machine would be running, then if you'll use the external virtual switch manager, then automatically you will be connected to internet. But let's connect to this virtual machine first. Connect. I'll use the full screen. Let's provide the password. And in this virtual machine, you will see you are not connected to internet. So if you'll go here, it's saying you are connected to internet though you are not. So let's quickly check this. Let's open the edge browser. As well as the PowerShell. Let me open PowerShell. Run as administrator. And I'll run the command ipconfig slash all. Right now, there is no IP address assigned to this virtual machine. So let's quickly start this. Let's close. And if I'll go to google.com, the internet is not working. So now, how can we enable the internet here? Though we have used the external switch. The another option is, let's first create an internal virtual switch then enable the NAT on it and provide a CIDR range for the NAT. And using that CIDR range, if we'll assign the IP address 
to this virtual machine then automatically it will connect to the internet so let's go back to the host operating system where there is a hyper-v manager let's go to the switch manager and create an internal switch let's name it as internal switch okay the internal switch is created now if you click on switch manager you can see internal switch but it's not assigned anywhere for now now the next step is we need to assign an ip address to this internal switch so if you'll open if you'll go here right click here open network and internet settings click on change adapter options you can see there is an internal switch and an external switch because we have created two switches so let's go to the internal switch which we have just created click on properties go to ipv4 settings double click on it and assign the ip address so 192 168 100 dot one let me assign this ip address it will be 255.255.255.0 and let's not assign the default gateway or preferred dns or anything let's just leave it blank and okay now we have assigned the ip address to this switch so the next step is to create a nat for the whole cidr range so let's open powershell run as administrator and the command here is new net nat and you have to provide the name let's name it as nat network you can provide any name an internal ip address internal ip interface address prefix so let's provide it as 192.168.100.0/24 so the nat is created now and this nat will help 192 series virtual machines to connect to the internet using the ethernet card of the host operating system so now let's go back to our virtual machine Go to the Hyper-V, connect and let's go to the network settings here, change adapter options, go to the properties, IPv4 and provide an IP address 192.168.100.10, subred mask will be 255.255.255.0 gateway will be our internal switch so 192 168 100 dot one and preferred dns will be 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8, which is google dns let's restart this virtual machine and see if it connects to the network or not Let me provide the password. So right now you can see still it's not connected to internet. And the reason is because we haven't changed the virtual switch on this virtual machine. So select settings. So if we'll go to the network adapter, we still have external switch. It should be internal. So let's click here internal. Let's turn off, connect and start it again. Let's log into this virtual machine. And perfect, you can see it's connected to network now. And here you can see the internet connection is there. 
So let's quickly open the PowerShell. And run IP config. And there you see the IP address is provided. So if we'll do IP config slash all, so it has DNS server IP address. You can even provide the Azure DNS IP, which you can find it from Google. It starts from 168 something, but you can provide that too. So let's open the Edge browser and quickly check if internet is working. And perfect, as you can see that the page is open. And if you click on any of the website, it should open. And it's working. So this is a workaround which you have to do in case you are installing Hyper-V on a virtual machine in Azure. And I'm doing this because I have to create a lab in Azure so that I can show the Azure migration. So that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.